Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how you can keep your Mac running like a mean machine real fast, just like when you got it. So, you know, with anything, your Mac will need maintenance. So, to perform some maintenance on your Mac, you can download this real simple application and it'll let you do a lot of different things. And it's called Onyx. So, you can get this uh, application. I, I have a custom link set up, so you can go to trdd.us slash maintenance and you can download this application. And you can select your operating system, so Snow Leopard, Leopard, Tiger, Panther, or Jaguar. And then just, you know, select the one you want and it'll download. And when it's downloaded, all you have to do is drag the application to your Applications folder and it's already installed and set up just like that. So I have Onyx in my dock here and I'll just open it. Now initially here it's going to want me to check the smart status of my drive. So I can just hit continue, it'll take a couple seconds and it'll finish. Now this just checks for errors in the drive and make sure it's you know working right. And it's also going to want me to verify the startup volume here. Uh, this is not necessary, it does you know check that there's no problems. Um, for the sake of this demo I'm not going to do it just because it does require me to quit all open applications which I can't really do in order to keep recording. So I'm just going to hit cancel. From here you're going to have to type in your administrator password. Then a help window is going to open up in case you know you need any help and uh, things like that. Now it warns you right here that you should back up your data uh, because it's not bug free. I do have my data backed up with Time Machine. This isn't a necessity but it does you know kind of have a fault protection in case something would happen. Now, it says it cannot destroy the system, so it's not something you really need to worry about, um, but I guess you really should always back up your data anyways. So from here you're going to see a, uh, a window here and you have different options, so I can click verify and I'm going to be able to check the smart status like I did before, the structure of the volume, which is just verifying the startup disk, and then I have some preferences that I can switch around. If I go under the maintenance tab, I can do a variety of different things to speed up my Mac in case it's running slow. So if I verify and repair system file permissions, it's going to take a while and it's going to, you know, your Mac will really slow down when it's going on. It's best that you don't do anything else. Uh, but if you're seeing a lot of error messages or something like that, this may be the cause of it, your permissions. So you can just execute that and, you know, finish the rebuilding the permissions. And it'll take a while, but it is worth it. And you can also do this with um, daily, weekly, and monthly scripts. You can execute those, and it'll do these different maintenance scripts that it does in the background, usually late at night, but you can force them to do them manually this way. And from here, you can rebuild a whole bunch of different indexes, things like that. Nothing you really need to worry about, um, but you can just select them all and click Execute, and Sometimes it'll speed things up, sometimes it won't, but it's generally a good thing to do and it's not going to hurt any part of your system. There's also a cleaning tab here where you can delete the cache of, you know, your kernel and all these different things, QuickTime components, audio components, things like that. Uh, just kind of resets things. Doesn't You don't lose any of your data by doing this, uh, it just will kind of speed things up for you. And you have your user cache, internet cache all these different things and you can execute those. Now after each one, if I click execute, it's going to want me to quit, it's going to force quit all open applications and then afterwards it's a good idea to restart, you don't have to, it's going to ask you if you want to restart though. So from here you can rebuild different databases, um, these are not real things you need to worry about and you can empty your trash, things like that from here. The things you really want to see are in the maintenance and cleaning tab. If you go under the automation tab, it'll let the, you do these things automatically. So it'll clean a whole group of cache, you know, at the same time. And uh, you can repair permissions and rebuild a whole bunch of things all with one click instead of going on under each one separately. Um, but this, a lot of this will take a long time. You'll probably get the spinning beach ball. It might look like your Mac's completely frozen, but it's not. Just give it time and it'll work. You know, it's best not to do other things while you're doing this. 
So there you go, there is a quick and easy application to make your Mac, you know, run like it was when it was new and perform some just regular maintenance tasks on it. So I hope you found this video useful and thank you for watching.